let's now deal with the case of for feature of shares now what happens is that normally a company calls for the money from the shareholders in tranches let's say the face value of shares was 100 and issue price is 100 as well okay the amount to be paid was as under application 50 allotment 20 first call 10 second 10 final 20 many a time what happens is that certain shareholders let's say there is a shareholder laurel he applied for 200 shares okay and he paid the application money he paid the allotment money but did not pay the first call did not pay the second call did not pay the final call after this his shares were forfeited what do you mean by forfeited forfeited means that the company decided not to allot him these shares and in such a case what happens is that the money that he's already paid is also not refunded for feature of shares refers to cancellation of allotment this is in a layman language you can have technical jargons and all cancellation of allotment of shares and keeping back money paid by shareholder right so now you need to understand what is the journal entry if this cancellation happens now basically if you see what would have happened in all these cases you've already seen how you pass on the entries in books of accounts at each of these events so normally at every stage whenever you receive the money you debit your bank account and you credit your share application account right so you have bank account debit to share capital this is the net entry which comes in wherever the monies are not paid effectively you don't have anything to the debit of bank but what you have is calls in arrears stroke whichever one is there let's say first call second call or the final call so these are the debits which are made instead of bank account when the money doesn't come in credit again goes to the share capital account so in the process when you forfeit these shares what happens is that your share capital account gets credited by the entire amount up to the stage when the forfeiture happens so in this case the forfeiture happened after the final call so share capital account would obviously have been credited for application allotment first call second call final call right so this credit which has already been happened is going to be reversed so what happens is whatever entries have in the books of accounts are reversed so whatever was the credit will be reversed so you debit share capital account and the debit let me just write it here the debit has to happen for what amount amount already called into number of shares so in this case number of shares is 200 
amount already called as 50, 70, 80, 90. Okay, there is some problem out here. This has to be 10 and not 20. Okay, into 100. Right? 2. Now, as I told you, whatever money was not received was debited to either of these accounts. Right? So, we assume that whatever debits were made, they were remaining in the calls in arrears account. So, to calls in arrears. Why? Because this account must have been debited when the money was not received. So, what is the amount of money which is not received? 1, 2 and 3. So, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30 into 200. 2. What was the other account which was debited when you received this money? It was the bank account. So, you, re you received the bank account by 70 rupees. Okay. But do you refund the money on forfeiture? The answer is no. There is no refund of money. The money is forfeited. It's kept back keeping back the money and this difference or the money which is retained gets credited to share for feature account. So what is the money that you receive? 70 into 200. Now if you do the multiplication, this is 20,000, this is 6,000, that is 14,000. So your entries are completed. Okay?